here we are in the Renault Zoe and I've got such exciting news. France has brought out this amazing vehicle. It's a Mars Rover and it goes underwater. Do you know what it's called? A Renault Zoe! <laughs> Yeah, you could drive a Renault Zoe on the surface of Mars because it doesn't burn stuff. If you had a fully charged battery, solar, perfect, you could drive on Mars. Wow, the corn is really high. Yeah, you could also drive it underwater. There's nothing to stop you driving an electric car in deep water. I'm not testing it, <laughs> and Renault don't recommend it. But, in fact, when a internal combustion car would stall, if you got water in the engine and in the exhaust and everything, a, 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 an electric vehicle will keep going. I heard this from the wonderful, and I think he is the best car reporter out there, and that's Rory Reid. Uh, Rory said just one of the smartest things about electric vehicle ownership, and I'd like to expand on his thoughts. So his thought was, maybe it's not such a great idea that we're banning all petrol cars, because we love our petrol cars. We love that V8 roar, the smell of gasoline, the noise, the burnt rubber of a big, powerful petrol or gasoline motor. Okay, sure. And maybe there's an incredibly small market for keeping the Lamborghinis, the Ferraris on the road. But here's his point, and I think it's brilliant. Who does a school run with a Ford Fiesta or a little diesel Polo, jumps into the car and goes, oh, I love my engine. No, they jump into the car, hopefully it starts, and they wanna take the kids to the school or they go shopping. They don't love their internal combustion engine. They don't love how much it costs to maintain. They don't love oil changes. They don't love putting new exhaust mufflers on their car clutches. And in fact, an electric vehicle for your normal mum doing a school run or anybody doing stuff where you don't really care if you've got a V8 engine or not, dump them because those people are perfect for electric vehicles. They just want a reliable form of transport. And that was Rory's point, and I think that is so good. And yes, I think classic cars and the 1% who are driving Lamborghinis, keep them. Yeah, keep your Lamborghinis. That's, that's, that isn't a problem. But I would like to expand on what Rory said and make a much bigger point school trips, shopping trips, and personal cars are not the biggest road users and the biggest burners of fossil fuels. Since this zombie apocalypse, we've ordered more food and packages from Amazon than ever before, and they're still being delivered by a diesel white van. There's one now. <laughs> And, you know, it's insane. It's really insane. We need to get short mileage diesel or petrol delivery vans, and they're massively big in the transport infrastructure off the road and turn them all into electric vehicles. The same with trucks, really. Anything that doesn't need to go a million miles uh, has lots of starts and stops and is in an urban environment, electric. Go out and buy a cheap EV, like a Dacia or something like that, or the new MG, or this wonderful Zoe and what is going to replace the Zoe eventually, you know, the Renault 5 here in France. And remember, you can drive them on Mars. 
Would you drive your electric vehicle on Mars? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Here's another couple of EV films for you. Thanks for watching.